Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another beauty review. And this time around, I'm going to be sharing with you the mini Tropic palette by Natasha Denona. So this is based on their larger Tropic palette. I'm not sure if it's still available on the market, but back when I first started getting into makeup, which was a couple of years ago, they released the Tropic palette. It was a primarily neutral palette, but it did have some nice pops of color with some blues and some greens and some purples. And I believe there was a really nice uh, uh, yellow shade in there as well from memory, because I did purchase it um, half price when I went to the US way back when, a few years ago um, at Sephora, they were having like a half price deal on it. And I barely used it. I actually sold it because I just wasn't getting any use out of it. And every time I looked at it, I wasn't very inspired because there were so many neutral shades in there and it was just hard to think about it and get really excited about it. I don't know. But I have purchased the mini version, which is basically all the interesting shades from the palette in one small mini palette. So it's got five shades, as you can see. I'm going to open it up for you so it's a little bit clearer. So as you can see, you've got um, three shimmers and two mattes. So you've got a mint frost shade, exotic, laguna, tiger lily, and Xena or Zena, however you want to say it. So I think for this palette, I am going to do two separate eye looks. I'm going to do a more bluey eye look and a more greeny eye look. I am going to use this sort of lilac -y shade as a base for both because... Um, the blue is still a nice light color as well. I could definitely use that, but I think actually, you know what? I should just use the matte blue for this shade and then the, the green with the purple. I think I'll do that instead. There you go. I've changed my mind. I do that a lot on this channel if you're new. <laughs> so I am just going to quickly just dust off my brush on the Veramona color switch, which I use when I'm filming lots of tutorials at once because it just makes my life so much easier. So I am going to go into that lilac shade. I think I'm going to do the blue on, I mean, the green on this side. So that lilac shade called Xena or Zena, however you want to pronounce it. And I'm just going to grab my little mirror over here because these mini palettes do not have mirrors. And I'm just going to work it into the lid. Oh, that's pretty. Now, I have heard that Natasha Denona is releasing a new mini palette um, for Christmas. It does have a little bit of green and some gold in there. So if you like those sort of traditional Christmas color stories, I think you could potentially enjoy it. So definitely go and check it out. Um, there are some spoilers up about it at the moment, but no sort of final word on names or prices as we speak. So there you go. I am going to go into this minty frost shade mint frost and i am just going to get my brush in there it is a little bit on the a little chunky not too bad sometimes the natasha denona shimmers can be a little bit on the chunky side and it's a little bit too much and i do spray my brushes as always when i do shimmers it's just a habit um so i'm gonna work this in the inner half of the lid oh yeah that's pretty that's really nice so it's sort of like a pastely minty sorbet kind of color. I'm just going to take some of that up on a drier brush. Yeah, so it's got it's got some pigment to it, even though it's quite a light shade. It's actually fairly pigmented, so that's pretty impressive. I am going to go into the sort of emeraldy shimmer shade, which is called Ex Exotic. Exotic, yes. Okay. Once again, a bit of a, the spray action going on here. And I'm just going to be really careful with this because it is very pigmented by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm just going to tap it. I'm not even going to swipe it. I need to just tap it in. Maybe a little swipe. There we go. A little swipe. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is a great Christmas shade right here. If you're looking for a nice Christmas shade, look at that green. That's really pretty. Now I'm going to have to blend it with this mint because it's just a little bit too, what's the word? Harsh. There we go. To just stop it right in the middle there. Oh yeah, they've blended really nicely together. So you've got that nice gradient of the mint with the exotic emerald kind of color. Okay. I'm very happy with those shimmers. So that's good. Let me just wipe off my shimmer brush. 
Uh, I just use MAC brushes primarily, but this is a Juvia's Place blending brush that I'm using for the mattes. They're mainly the two brushes I use for my eye looks, so there you go. I'm going into that matte blue shade, that sort of mid-toned matte blue. It is called Laguna. Let's see how Laguna performs on this side. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> That's very pigmented as well. Brilliant. This is just making me think of the seaside and just beautiful clouds and beautiful clear skies. What a nice colour. Love it. Very pretty. Wow! That'll blow you away, won't it? My goodness. What a nice colour. Blending beautifully. Doesn't look too harsh, which is great, even though it's such a bright colour. That's really nice. Oh, from a distance, it looks really good as well. Love it. Okay, fantastic. So we've got that part done. And then I'm going to go into that deep shimmer shade. I'm going to have to be really careful because it is basically like a... Um, Safari kind of shade called Tiger Lily. Okay. I'm just going to have to be really careful with tapping this product in because it is quite crazy. Okay, maybe I need more than that. It is a little patchy. I am just going to spray. I'm just going to get a little bit more on my brush and just spray the brush itself and just see if the spray just helps melt it a little bit more. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, no, that's all right. I think with this shimmer shade, you definitely need a blue base of some kind just because my lid is slightly peeking through. It's not too bad. You can definitely still see some of the color of my... Um, eye underneath but that just could be you know how eyes sometimes don't pick up um pigment sometimes when you put shadows on that happens to everyone I think there's always one spot on your eye that just doesn't want to pick up pigment now looking at this from a distance it doesn't look too bad up close you definitely notice that it hasn't picked up on some spots on the lid but overall it's pretty good and look these shades are really, really nice. I think if you're missing greens and blues in your collection, this could definitely be a great palette for you. I think it's definitely a great um, sort of mini palette in that respect. Now, I know that the mini palettes are a standard five pan palette, but I would have liked to see maybe a really bright shimmery yellow instead of the lilac if they couldn't have made it a six pan i'm not really sure what the point of the lilac is in this context i think it's purely there just as a really light um what do you call it matte base shade that's basically what it's there for and i think it's a good shade to use if you just want something that has a nice light wash of color on the lids without being too over the top so i can kind of see where they're going with this palette but i think that a yellow would have complemented this palette a lot more. It would have given you an inner corner highlight um, and you would have been able to blend out some of the, um, the shimmer shades. If they were a little bit too dark for your liking, you could definitely mix it with the yellow and just give you a little bit more of a control over the shade of the, um, yeah, over the shimmers and just give you that extra sort of, flexibility with the palette that's pretty much all I would say about it but overall I really do like these shades I think this is probably one of my favorite Natasha Denona mini palettes because the shimmers were all very buttery they all glided on really nicely obviously with that really dark blue there was a little bit of a patchiness but if you spray your brush enough it should blend it in really nicely and it should stay on the lids pretty nicely as well so yeah, overall, I think it's a success. And I think that if you like these sorts of colors and these are things that you really enjoy using, I definitely would recommend purchasing. Or if you're someone who has quite a few neutral palettes, for example, and you're trying to branch out into some more sort of colorful palettes, I think this could be a great first step for you. Um, just as something different and just something that's going to add to your um, collection that you already have. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, I will try and get that Christmas Natasha Denona palette when that becomes live. I don't know exactly when that's going to be available, but I will keep my eyes out for it and definitely give it a review for you. So until then, 
take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.